kami po yung mga unang uh, nabigyan ng awards ang galing po, no? And after that, uh, naging executive director ako ng, ng galing po for almost 14 years, no? So parang buhay ko na po ang galing po at... Uh, In 2007, the foundation was set to greater heights when Dr. Eddie Dorotan, former mayor of Irosin Sur Sugon and a three-time Galinpok awardee and Hall of Famer, joined the foundation as its executive director. Doc Eddie believed in a simple philosophy. Simply lang yan. Kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. As a leader, he is a gifted visionary who turns dreams into realities. His first year was welcomed with the support of the Development Bank of the Philippines as a strategic partner, giving funding support for the awards program. Land Bank also supported the program's mission and gave a multi-year funding support for Galing Pook until 2017. He also led the implementation of Galing Pook Awards in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. This highlighted that there are best practices that are worth emulating in ARMM. Each year, the Galingpok Foundation has gone from strength to strength. And to further promote the growing good local governance programs, it has made its mark on national media through the Galingpok TV series, which was aired on ANC. It ran for four seasons with a total of 52 episodes, truly a hit TV series. As a leader, Doc Eddie is pioneering. He turned opportunities into assets. He brought us to the global stage through the Global Public Innovation Network. With support from the Ford Foundation, Galing Pook was among the 10 public policy awards program from all over the world that was showcased in this network. He built the prominence of Galing Pook that we hosted the Global Public Innovation Conference in 2013 here in the Philippines. Still under Doc Eddie's wing, Galing Pook launched its governance fair with the theme Mama Mayan, Mama Mayani, a three-day event promoting governance and citizenship, which was attended by thousands of leaders from the government and civil society organizations. Other awards were also born to recognize initiatives and contributions of leaders individuals, and organizations. The Jesse Robredo Leadership Awards and the Galing Pook Citizenship Award. Aside from recognizing innovation and excellence, Galing Pook ventured into building the capacities of LGUs through the Adaptive and Innovative Leadership Program. This is focused on helping LGUs address challenges in their localities by learning from and replicating practices of other LGUs. Since 2016, Doc Eddie has led five batches of the A plus I program that supported 54 local government unit teams. As a leader, Doc Eddie is nurturing and caring. He built the spirit of collaboration among Galing Pook members, partner organizations, and local chief executives. He provided an environment which brings out the best in each person. He built a family in Galing Pook and found us a permanent home. Doc Eddie continued to forge more partnerships by engaging youth leaders through the hashtag Bago Tayo Youth Network and the 2018 Governance Fair. Sana mas madali na maingganyo natin yung mga kapataan. Tapos ngayon pa lang, yung paglaban na ang tunay na pagsisilpi sa bayan, ang tunay na pag-uubi. Year 2020, the world stopped. But this didn't stop him from taking action. Through the COVID-19 Action Network, he responded to civil society's need for science-based recommendations in combating coronavirus. We have come a long way. We have shaped the programs are being viewed and implemented in the local arena. We have set the standards of good governance 
where the responsibility and accountability is shared between the LGUs and its citizens. And we are bound to achieve more. As we look back into the past years, we are deeply grateful for Doc Eddy and his visionary, pioneering, nurturing, and caring leadership. As we forge into the future to continuously create an impact in people's lives, we know that we have Doc Eddy as our mentor, leader, and friend because he will always be part of the Galing Pook family.